Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can open up these formats right here called HEIC on a Windows machine. A quick summary is these HIC files are called High Efficiency Image Coding. It's a format for storing images and sequences of images mainly on Apple devices. So the problem is natively you can't open this format up on a Windows machine. So I thought, hey, maybe I can open these up in Photoshop and everything's just going to work. But if you go ahead and try to open this in Photoshop, this is what you're going to come across. So this is the message you're going to get inside of Photoshop. And what it's going to do is make you click this button right here. It says learn more. And so let me pull that over and show you what that looks like. So if you go to the website, this is what it wants you to do. As you can see right down here, it's saying you can open these up. And it wants you to get this right here, the HEIF image format extension. But of course, I went ahead and tried to install all of this and this doesn't quite work. Um, as you can see right here, it's got really bad reviews and I'm not the only person that says this doesn't work. So don't try to follow these steps because most likely it's just not going to work in your machine. So check this out. If you have Adobe Cloud and you have access to Lightroom, guess what? These files are just going to magically open as if they should in a Photoshop. So now let me show you what this looks like when I try to open this up in Lightroom. So I'm just going to go ahead and choose open with Lightroom. And as you can see, once you open this up inside of Lightroom, it's going to pull in all of your images from that directory. So in this case, I have four of these HEIC files I want to convert over into JPEGs. So I'm going to show you two different ways that you can export these as JPEGs. So what you could do is actually click on each one. And if you right click, there's a button right here that says export one photo. And then you're just going to go ahead and hit export. So when you do that, it's going to give you some options over here. So you could keep it as a full size dimensions. They give you a few different formats right here, but let's just do JPEG. Um, I recommend doing hundred percent because then you can always compress it later. So if you just click this button where it says export one photo, it's going to download it to your computer. And so now here it is inside of windows. You can see right here, I can now open this up. It's just a normal JPEG. And what's cool is you can also select multiple files. So if you just go ahead and click one, hold down shift, hit right click, and then you can do export four photos. So it's going to do the same thing. It's just going to pull up that box. And now you can just export all four of your photos right here. So if you need a whole bunch of them, that's a really quick way to do it. And another option you can do is right click. And right here it says edit in Photoshop. I'm going to go ahead and click that and show you what happens. And as you can see, this is now opened up inside of Photoshop. Um, what, one thing I did notice, if you look right here, it opens it up as a TIFF file. So you're going to go ahead and just click uh, File, Save As, and then just save as a JPEG like you normally would. And another way that you can pull this off is using some sort of online generator. So I'm going to leave a link in the description to this website right here. So as you can see, it's ad driven, so you might get a few ads popping up. But what you could do is just go ahead and click and drag in your HIC files right here, and it's going to convert it automatically to JPEG. So if I go ahead and just click and drag in one of these files, you can see right here it's going to convert it automatically. And then they give you the option right here. You can just go ahead and click download one file. Uh, you can see right here they could do up to five. So if you click and drag in five of them, you could just download it as like a zip file. And that's it for this quick tutorial on how you can convert HIC files over into JPEG on a Windows machine. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.